Mi gente! We're here at the Country Club, here at Tom Ashanta Country Club here in Glenhead, New York. I don't know if you could if you could understand what I'm saying, Tom Ashanta. Whatever, I never heard of it. We're here at the golf course. They asked us to come on down, check out the boiler because they had an inspection done by the state and they said that the boiler's leaking. We're about to go take a look right now. We'll see where it's leaking from. So stay tuned, keep you guys posted. Check out the video. Whip So it's a steam boiler, Scotch Marine style boiler. Scotch Marine just means it's a long oval style boiler. These are your two coils, it's your burner. It's pretty basic. I see a lot of rust, which is not good. It's a lot from the condensation from the cold water pipes and just the deterioration throughout the course of the years. So let's see what's going on. They were complaining about a leak and we're gonna check for a leak. The proper way to do an actual leak test, which I'm gonna check here, is there any visual leaks? We'll do what's something called a hydrostat. All a hydrostat is, we'll have to shut off the, the supply and the return on the actual boiler and pressure it, pressurize it with water. Once you pressure it with water, then if there's any leaks, You'll see. Yeah, it's talking about the leak, but nobody's telling me exactly where. I can see corrosion from over here on this side. There's corrosion on this side too, but I can't really tell. I see indications of a leak, but I cannot 100% pinpoint exactly where they're coming from. But the boiler is in bad shape as far as deterioration. It's a lot of rust, and there's a lot of joints. This is all calcium. You see this? This is all calcium deposits from water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up this door, I'm gonna get my tools, it's actually in my car, open this up and see if there's any water anywhere inside there. But this is a tube boiler, so the tubes maybe are leaking, we don't know, but it's definitely a leak, we just don't know where. I mean, you can see it over here, it's all rusted. This rust is from water, and inside here you can see water all over the floor. Granted, it's humid, but it's definitely somewhere. We just need to pinpoint where exactly the leak is at. So let's open up the back door and we'll look further. This is not looking good, you can see it. You see this coloration, you see all this calcium, and it stinks, yeah. All right guys, we're about to go into the boiler room, open up the door in the rear. We call it a, a manhole door, or a, a, you know, just a door. We're gonna open up, take a look inside the actual chamber, and see if there's any leaks there. There's definitely a leak. We just gotta find it, so come on and let's go look for the leak. All right, I'm gonna open up this manhole door. Take a visual look inside the boiler. It's pretty disgusting in here. So what happens when you don't service and maintenance? So an inspector was here not too long ago, and he said, this has to be addressed. Better they, they do it now than later because winter is approaching. And what happens is, everybody's busy, and we're able to get to it on time. All right, so this is what's called the chamber. This is the rear of the boiler. This is a rock mills boiler. There's a lot of scaling here. I haven't serviced it, so it needs to be serviced. That's the front wall. That's where the fire comes out from, from the actual middle, which is the burner. So right now, all I see is a lot of scaling, a lot of rust, so it's pretty typical. I definitely advise to hydrostat the boiler to really look at it. It could be very possible that it's corroded from the bottom, but the only way to take an actual real check, you're gonna have to, uh, open up the cover and just take a quick look. So um, I'll keep you guys posted.